Hello and welcome to my channel Ethereal Alchemy and my first video for 2023. In this video I'll be sharing some intuitive guidance for the year ahead and also some tips on how you can really uh, succeed this year um, by following this guidance and, and these major themes that I really feel are coming through. I'll also be sharing a guided meditation at the end to help you to really align and anchor into these energies and possibilities for the year. So do stick around as it will really be worth it. And this year I'll be putting out a lot more content uh, on this channel. So uh, if you do wish to receive uh, these regular updates, do make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe uh, button and also the notification button, which just lets you know when new content is released. Um, I'm also sharing a free PDF guide uh, just in the description below. And this is basically just giving some tips and some guidance on, on how to really work with these energies. So if you'd like to receive that free PDF guide, just go down to the link below and uh, click on, on that link and put your details in and you'll receive that as well. So let's dive into the content. 2023, um, in numerology, if we break down the number 2023, we get to a seven vibration. So this is a seven year. And I feel that the, the seven vibration really um, brings through this, uh, like this real merging of our spirituality and our physicality. So I feel this year is really about the merging of our spirit self and that more intuitive guidance, that, that greater aspect of our, of, um, our being, merging that really with our, our physical body, our physical life and our day-to-day our -day living. And so what does that actually mean? What does that look like? Well, as I've been tuning into the energies coming into this year, I'm really feeling that this year is about really stepping out more within ourselves and really following that guidance from our heart. You know, our heart is always nudging us to um, really anchor uh, more our spiritual self and our spiritual gifts and to really reflect and manifest that out into the world. Um, but oftentimes we either get distracted in the mind or sometimes, you know, fear comes up that we don't think we can do it because often what the, what the heart and the soul brings through is such an expanded, such a big vision um, that it's like it, it holds aspects of our greatest passion, our greatest joy and our greatest fulfillment in the way that we're living and working and interacting in the world. Um, but oftentimes we, we f can find it a little bit difficult to really tap into and, and really channel that guidance and bring it into to a really beautiful um, way that, that really shows up and manifests in the world. So that's what 2023 is about, I'm feeling intuitively, is, is to really step up and step into more of this merging and, and following your intuitive guidance and really um, breaking through those, those limitations of the past that will help you to really, um, you know, create more of a life of fulfillment. And so I do want to share a couple of tips. So do stick around um, as I've got some tips on how we can really work with those energies as well. To start off first, I'd just like to um, share a very brief card reading. So I'm just working with the Transference Animal Magic deck and the card that we have coming through um, for today and, and for the year uh, is Peacock. And the key word for Peacock is Cosmic Unity. And I love this card. I, I just feel that it is so relevant to um, what's coming through intuitively and what I'm feeling for the year. So Peacock often helps us to really step more outside of our comfort zone. And that's what I'm really feeling this year. It's like, we're gonna be so supported when we just take that action from our hearts and, and what our heart is guiding us to do and to be and create. When we just take that leap of faith, we can just break through so many restrictions and really create 
um, a new reality for ourselves. So the peacock energy is saying that there might be this refinement process happening for you this year, um, that you might be refining your sense of self, um, how you're perceiving yourself. It could be refining the way that you're uh, dressing or the way that you're putting yourself out into the world. It could also be that you're perfecting you know different gifts or talents that you have and and this is very relevant as well you know what are your your uh, unique gifts and talents that are just wanting to um, come out and birth and really be shared with the world this is the year to really um, do that so peacock is supporting all of this supporting this energy of um, you know, perfecting and and bringing out your gifts and talents, your your spiritual gifts and talents, out into the world, and refining that sense of self, but also, you know, stepping up and having the courage to to step beyond perceived limitations or or fears that might be stopping us from living more that life of um, manifestation and abundance and joy and love. So Peacock helps us to really tap into our cosmic and spiritual wisdom and helps us to channel through like this higher knowledge, this higher wisdom and bring it down into our physical reality um, so that we can take positive action with that wisdom that we're gaining. Um, so it's a really, really positive card and it's saying that we've got that cosmic and spiritual support. We've got that support from the, the spiritual realms this year. It's just about having that courage to take that step forward and, and really move forward with that energy. So coming um, back to, you know, what are, the, what are these tips that will really help you to succeed for this year? Well, first I feel it is creating that time to allow yourself to listen to your heart and listen to your spiritual guidance. You know, in life we get so busy with, um, with life and with, with our work and, and with just the practicalities of living that oftentimes we, we don't really slow down and allow ourselves to really, really tune into our heart and our soul wisdom. So the first tip is to really give yourself time as we begin this new year, give yourself time to come into stillness, to listen to your heart, to maybe journal or, or be in silent meditation or contemplation, to really tap into that, that big question, what am I meant to be doing this year? What, how can my life change and transform that I can start to um, anchor more of my gifts and my talents out into the world that I can create more joy and, and flow in my life. So really important to create that time. The second thing, once we've created that time and we're, we're listening more to our heart and our intuitive guidance, the next thing is when we're often aligning more to what our heart and our soul wants us to do and create, it can sometimes bring up um, a little bit of fear because we're stepping out into the unknown. We might be trying to step into a, or perfect a gift that hasn't quite anchored yet, or we're trying to, to work or live in a new way. And so oftentimes it's this, uh, um, the unknown that comes through that we can, that can create a little bit of fear for us, or, or we're breaking through old limitations to help us to step up and, and do and become more. So it's pretty much guaranteed that at certain points we can feel that, that fear like, oh, can, can I do it? Am I, am I good enough? Am I worthy? All of these questions can start to come up. But this is a great sign because when they're coming up, it means that you're, you're at that point where you're trying to break through those limitations. And this is where 95% of people fail because they, they get to that limitation. They think, oh, I'm, you know, I'm feeling fear. It must not be the right path. I'll just give up. But actually, when you've tuned into your heart and you're like, oh, I just feel, I know I feel so passionate about this new direction or I want to create a new, uh, a new way of bringing my gifts and talents out, a new way of working, a new way of living, you know it's right because it just feels right in your heart and you feel joy and excitement to be exploring this new pathway or opportunity. So when you feel good in your heart, you, you know you're on the right path. But that doesn't mean that sometimes the fear 
or our limitations don't come up. They do. Um, it just means that we're trying to break through those so that we can get to that point. And when we can understand that, okay, a bit of fear, a bit of hesitation, a bit of doubt might come up, but if my heart's singing and going, yeah, you know, let's do this, let's go for it, then you know you're on the right track. And it's just about acknowledging the fear or the limitation, giving it space to express, and then just moving forward anyway, just move forward anyway. So that's the second big tip really, um, to really move forward. And so I'm feeling this year is that this, you know, this chance to really merge our spirituality with our physicality means exactly that. It's following more that intuitive guidance from our heart and you know, starting to um, work with our, with our inner gifts, with our, with our particular talents that brings our life into more alignment, more soul alignment that is just so much more fulfilling. Um, and the third tip, so once we've tuned into our heart and our soul, once we've started to work and clear through the fears and limitations that will uh, inevitably come up, the third step is to take action. So things don't just happen, you know, we don't just manifest all our gifts and talents and, and our life completely transforms um, just by sitting there and, and visualizing it in our mind. That's really important to, to visualize the, the goal and visualize where we're going. But the, the key final step is to take action, to really take action in the physical world to start moving towards those goals and those dreams. And again, we can sometimes get caught up here because we think, oh my goodness, I just can't see how I'm gonna to get to that end point. But it's not about taking, you know, sometimes one big step to get to the final destination. Sometimes it's just one little step. What can I do today? What's one little step I can take towards this goal, towards this new, reality towards anchoring this new gift that I'm that I'm birthing out into the world and so just by taking those small steps they then lead into bigger steps bigger steps and bit by bit we start to get towards that that goal and that new way of being and living that is more in alignment with our spirituality anchored in our physicality so 2023 is an opportunity to really expand yourself, really put yourself out there more to bring your life into more alignment, um, to let go of those things that maybe aren't serving you, that don't bring you joy and happiness, and to step into a way of living that is more in alignment with soul, more in alignment with higher consciousness, with that vibration of love and joy and all of that, that that creates. So I hope that um, this resonates with you if you're listening. And as I said uh, at the start, so now we can go into a meditation to really um, work with and anchor these energies that are coming through. So, you know, do give yourself uh, quiet space. Uh, make sure you won't be disturbed if you do listen to this meditation. Um, definitely not operating, you know, any devices or driving or anything like that. So give this your full attention and you'll get the most out of this um, meditation, which I've specifically recorded and channeled through um, for each and every one of you that is watching today. So yeah, share in the comments below, how are you feeling um, the possibilities and, and what are you feeling the energies of 2023? Uh, that are coming through in your life. Um, so yeah, I'd love to love to hear your comments and thoughts. So thank you for watching and yeah, many blessings to you. Hello friends, welcome to this guided meditation. Take a moment to find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed and turning any devices to silent as you fully enjoy this experience. The intention of this meditation is to help you merge your spiritual and physical self so that you may feel more aligned and in sync with the possibilities and gifts of 2023. Make yourself comfortable either sitting or lying down. Now start by attuning to your breath. Take a nice deep breath.
filling your lungs and body. On the out breath, start to let go of any tension, pain or tightness in your body. Repeat this with another couple of deep breaths and on each out breath letting go more and more inviting that space of deep relaxation. Now letting go of any thoughts and emotions just allow them to gently release and dissipate as you start to feel more at peace. As you continue to center within yourself, tune into your heart. Allow your heart space to start opening as you feel a soft pink light resonating from deep within. This soft pink light starts to get brighter and more pure as it resonates out in all directions. Feel a sense of hope and possibility arising within you. Now attune to your three lower chakras, the base chakra at the base of your spine, the sacral chakra near your belly button, and your solar plexus located near your stomach. Their colors, red at the base, orange at the sacral, and yellow at the solar plexus begin to resonate out from each chakra creating a healing opening and balancing process these three chakras hold the aspects of your physical self and reality Now attune to your three higher chakras, your crown chakra located above your head, your third eye located in the center of your brain and your throat chakra in the middle of your neck area. Their colors are crown, violet white, third eye, purple, throat, blue. Let these colors resonate out, opening, healing and balancing your three higher chakras. These chakras hold the aspects of your spiritual self. Now bring your awareness into your heart chakra in the middle of your chest. This is the master chakra which holds the balance between your three lower and three upper chakras. This chakra resonates emerald green. Feel this emerald green color now resonating out as it begins to heal open and awaken your heart space. Feel the vibration of love and faith coming through as your heart chakra activates.
and also feel that as the heart chakra heals and balances, that it is also bringing all your lower and upper chakras into alignment, balance and resonating their perfected colors out. Embrace a state of perfect balance. Embrace a state of inner peace. We now set the intent to activate and merge your physical self and spiritual self into one. Start by feeling a silver upwards facing triangle coming up from deep within the earth. This sacred symbol represents your physical self in perfect balance. Allow it to slowly come up from within the earth and travel slowly up your body. As it does, you feel yourself fully embody your beautiful physical self. Your senses heighten and your body starts to vibrate with this grounded, balanced and present physical self. Now feel a shift of frequency as we start to attune to your spiritual self. Feel your consciousness expanding and infinite potential awaken as we attune to your immortal and all-encompassing spiritual self. Imagine in your mind a silver downwards facing triangle descending from the starry and heavenly realms. As this silver downwards facing triangle slowly floats down to earth, it begins to touch the top of your head, then gently float down through your body and auric field. This triangle represents your immortal spiritual self. Continue to feel it descending down over your body, anchoring your vast spiritual self into the present moment. Feel yourself connecting with and opening to your spiritual wisdom, spiritual gifts and the infinite possibilities these immeasurable realms provide. Your creativity, spontaneity, wisdom and intuition activate. Now feeling the physical upwards facing triangle and the spiritual downwards facing triangle. Now merging over each other, creating the sacred Star of David symbol over your body and aura. You may see, sense, feel or intuit this whatever feels right for you. As these triangles merge, they come into absolute balance with each other. Your spiritual and physical self merging into one. You start to feel so light as pure white light begins to activate and shine out from deep within the center of your being. You start to merge into pure white light, matter into spirit, spirit into matter. A sense of wonder, love and joy washes over you.
as you feel the absolute balance of your spiritual and physical self now, open your heart and ask the question, what is my higher and sole purpose this year? If I could live a life of freedom, pure joy, creativity and divine service, what does this look like? How do my emotions feel? What activities and work and play will I be doing this year? Allow space to ask and receive from your higher guidance. You may start to receive inspiration and guidance straight away, or it may reveal over the coming days and weeks. Let go of the timing and trust that you shall receive that guidance, whether in dreams, physical signs, in meditation, or through your intuition by deeply listening and staying open. Now, as you feel so balanced in your spiritual and physical self, start to bring this newfound vibration, peace and harmony back into the here and now. Feel yourself coming back into the room, back into your body, as you continue to feel completely balanced and open to higher inspiration. Start to ground your energies by focusing on your earth star chakra located around 15 centimeters beneath your feet in the earth. Feel a soft glow of light and energy in this chakra grounding you deep into the earth. Now bring your mind back into your body and back to the present moment. When you are ready, you may open your eyes. Blessings for these auspicious and powerful 2023 energies and possibilities. Go forth with courage, love and an open mind into this year. Thank you.